Hello and welcome back to Expo Op channel. Myself Rakesh and today we are going to focus on what is train classifiers, when to use it, what is the need of it. All of these things we are going to cover. My only request is do not skip the video because if you skip there are a lot of talking points that I cover during the video which you are going to miss it. So please watch it till the end. And anyone who is very new to our channel, please do subscribe, please join the Expo Hub growing family and also please be kind to like our videos. With that, let's get back to Yapa Studio and understand. Now, till now we have already covered the entire workflow to take care of any kind of a document extraction that is possible. So here you have seen, this is my input document where I have got all of these files which it's, it can extract the data from. Okay. Now let's imagine the very important step is classification step. So in the classification step, it literally tells what kind of a document it is. Let's say it finds it is an invoice, then it's guided to use the ML extractor in the data extraction scope. If it understands it's kind of a form, then it understands, okay, I have to use the form extractor for that. So all kind of a classification is done here. And based on that, in the data extraction scope, it uses a specific step. Okay, do I need to use regex paste for this kind of a document or should I, shall I use the form extractor for this kind of a document or shall I go for the invoice ML extractor for this kind of a document. So this decision is basically done at the classification stage. So depending on the classification of the document, now the workflow decides which extractor to be used. Okay, pretty simple. Now what could go wrong? I am going to talk about just imagine in the manage learning section. If I go here, just to help you understand why the training classifier scope is very, very important. Just imagine here in the invoice particular section, let's say we had a keyword called invoice. Right. So if I do this, what is the meaning of this? That means if any invoice where any document where the word is there as invoice, then it is going to automatically detect it's an invoice. Now, what if I remove this particular word? and try to save it. Now what is happening now in the keyword based classifier, it has got no means to detect a document if that has a keyword called invoice that it is an invoice. So there is no keyword we are providing. So it cannot classify an invoice now. Now what would happen if I run this particular workflow, it is going to extract all the data from all the documents as per my definition. It is going to do it, but exactly at the invoice it is going to fail. It is going to fail. Why it is going to fail? Because it, it is not able to classify what kind of a document that it has received. It is it goes mad. I mean, it is not able to understand what kind of a document it has received. So exactly in the classification step, it's going to fail. And once it fails, it will go through this step where it will log it. Classification of the document has failed using the log message. All this workflow I have shown in my previous video so that you create a exception handling mechanism. Okay, and it's going to validate and you will find, uh, you know, it could not extract the data from and then at the end, what would happen at the end, it cannot extract the data, but it should not fail. It should not fail. Rather, it should train the key keyword based classifier. Okay, what is being missed? Let's put it. Okay, it should give an opportunity to you so that you can automatically it, it's going to update over here while the project is running. So you don't have to stop it entirely and then go and then update there, then again run it. So to avoid such things, to continue with the rest of the documents that is available, you want something to happen automatically, it should train it while the project is running. You don't have to completely stop it. Now for that basic reason, we have to train it. Now let's say uh, if you simply type, go to your activities and simply type train. If you type train, there are two different kinds of classification scope. One is to train the classifiers and the other one is to train the extractors. So there are two different types. One is train your classifiers and train the extractions. That means these are the two places which where the things may go wrong. It cannot classify or it cannot extract the data and you want to train them. You have to train them so that it can extract the data properly again. So you have to train them so that you can classify the document next time. If the similar document being dumped into that folder, it will be able to classify. So you have to train at these two particular stages. Remember this, this point. When the training is required in the classifier stage and the extraction stage. These are the two areas where we have to train. 
okay this point should be pretty clear now which i am going to show you here about the classifier scope the extractor scope we are going to learn probably in some other video but here i am going to make you understand about how will you train a classifier okay so let's drag and drop so once you drag and drop this classifier quickly update all the variables document text and then document object model and then human validated this is coming from the validation step validated extraction results okay this is not required classification of data we are not using any present validation station for classification so i am not using that and then taxonomy very simple okay now to train the keyword based classifier you have something called keyword based classifier trainer simply drag and drop it okay and you must remember your keyword based trainer uses a file called keyword classifier.json okay this is the file we are going to point it out document processing whatever name you, have, you would have given but there is a json file for the classifier i am going to point that out and then here if you see click on the manage learning what is missing for the invoice it is missing it is just reading the exact thing that is there in the keyword classifier.json okay done now let's click on configure and we'll configure for all kind of files if any kind of a failure is there anywhere it is going to work for them okay done so all this is done now what would happen because in the classification stage we have removed the invoice just to exercise this it is not be able to detect it now to save some time i am going to remove the rest of the files okay so i'm going to remove rest of the files and just keep invoice so that we can the execution time can be minimized so i'm keeping only one file so what would happen while it is executing in the classification stage it's supposed to fail and it is supposed to train our classifier right so if you go go down here just now we have implemented that train classifier scope so let's run it and see it practically how it is going to train it okay it is loading the taxonomy done okay it is digitizing the document all right okay omni page ocr closed all right now look at look at here see exactly in the classification step what would happen see it went to log message were you able to see that okay now the let the present validation station come up so what would happen because it could not classify the document it cannot even extract the data okay so in such a stage what are you supposed to do i am going to let you know so you can see report as exception it could not cl classify the document so first thing you should do is click over here and select what kind of a document it is so it is an invoice okay then please select evidence for the field evidence means so how do you are saying it is an invoice select some evidence for that all you do you know click on the specific areas then hit on the control key so i am going to give some multiple data okay and hit on enter sorry uh, so once you select this all you need to do is come to this particular three dots and then click on change extracted value f plus c so change extracted value click on this fine now it has taken some specific keywords and it is it, it understood that is an invoice okay and if you look at this it cannot extract the values that we have defined in the taxonomy reason being it could not classify the document so extraction is impossible it did not go through that extraction step so in this stage after you select all you need to do is click on save okay all you need to do is click on save so whatever the keywords that you have selected invoice 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 all that that you have selected you will see 
the train classifier scope is going to use it and going to update the keyword based classifier i am going to show you that okay it cannot write because there is no data so it will be blank okay now now it should come to the train extraction scope okay and it should have train okay so it happened very quickly let's go to the uh, keyword based classified trainer and click on manage learning okay now you should see for the invoice which we have left blank now you can see it has extract it has kept some keywords automatically for you okay and then if you go up in the classification step because it is reading the same json file logically it will have all of this but just i want to show you okay so you can see it has aut automatically has updated all the keywords so this is what the use of train classifier scope now let's say there are a couple of other documents below it it's supposed to it will continue the loop and run your project won't stop it it will automatically do it now in the next time when you are running the project where you got a log message if you look at the output classification the document has failed now you got the log message so you got to know this particular document which has the name invoice underscore zero two has failed so next time while you are processing you have to ensure or you have to build a logic to move rest of the files for which processing has been done and do not move the specific file from this particular folder so all this logic we can build it and that way next time when you are running the project this particular document will be considered and can extract the data so i hope you are you should be able to understand what i am trying to say okay so for all of that we have to build logics probably i can show it in the upcoming videos but uh, people who have heard me properly or paid attention must have understood how the train classifier scope is really really helpful in our project okay so thank you so much guys for connecting with us we are going to come up with more um, uh, knowledgeable videos which is going to help you to have a complete understanding on ui path various chapters so thank you so much please do follow our uh, videos go to our expo hub page home page and try to go to the video section and try to visit as many as content possible and try to learn as many as content you like and please be kind to like and do subscribe to our channel thank you so much guys we are going to meet in our next video take care bye bye